is we are gonna be making one of my favorite protein shakes. This is absolutely one of my favorite recipes that I'm jamming on almost every single day after I get home from the gym right now. It is so, so good. This is a plant-based, gluten-free, lower carb recipe. Um, and even though I know I said gluten-free, the name of the recipe is a blueberry banana bread protein shake. I know bread is in the title, yet it's still gluten-free. Mind blown, right? <laughs> So let me take you through the ingredients. You're gonna be amazed because it's so, so simple. Um, and I think before I get you into these, I just wanna say the most important thing to do when making your protein shake and trying to make it really, really delicious is to know your protein powder that you're working with. So because the protein powder I'm working with today, I'll show you in a sec here, is so packed with flavor, like it's very, very sweet and it's kind of more thick than a lot of plant-based protein powders, I don't need to add a lot of extra ingredients to boost the flavor because it's already there. Okay, so with that said, let me show you what we got going on. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through these one by one as well. But you can see the spices over here, kind of the bulk of things over here. Only one thing I'm using for measuring and then my water. Cool, so just Propping you back up. Boom. Okay, let's walk through these one by one. First, we have our protein powder. As you can see, as promised, banana bread, plant based. It's um, four grams of carbs per uh, scoop, but we're going to use about three and a, three fourths of a scoop today. So it's probably going to knock out to about three grams of carbs. 24 grams of protein typically, so a little bit less than that, but you're still getting a ton of protein in there, and I think it's two grams of fat per serving. Pretty cool. We're also going to do glutamine. I like to add extra glutamine whenever I'm making protein shakes. The reason why is because this is one of the most essential amino acids for muscle repair and anabolic you know, muscle building. So I love to have extra glutamine in my protein shakes. We're going to do wild blueberries. Let's see if the camera can focus. Cool. Why wild blueberries instead of regular ones? Let me answer that for you. First of all, I love that they're frozen. I don't have to add ice cubes then. But more importantly, when you look at typical blueberries that are in your produce aisle at the supermarket, they're not, they're not akin to the way blueberries were, you know, a long time ago. They've been, you know, transformed into something very, very different today. They're very modified from more of their original state in the wild. These wild blueberries, while they're not the exact version of what our ancestors ate, they're a lot closer to it. If you've never had these before, I absolutely encourage you to try them because they taste, in my opinion, so much better than regular blueberries. They are packed with flavor, absolutely packed with flavor. I have people who hate blueberries because of the texture or because they taste really bland or what have you, and they've tried these and like, oh my God, these are so good. I'll like sit here, with a cup of these and a spoon and just eat them frozen because they're delicious. And they also have a lot, like a, they have a more rich color. So just a fun side note, when your smoothie gets done being prepared, it comes out of the blender like bright purple. <laughs> so I love that. Call me girly, I love bright purple beverages. <laughs> um, next we have walnuts. This is really the only other ingredient that I'm gonna use to make the thickness like perfect for the smoothie. I don't add banana in this case and I don't add um, oats, which I know people typically will do and they'll do that for flavor, for thickness, what have you. I'm not gonna do that because again, my protein powder is, this is such a thick protein powder. So I don't really need any more of that. Also, I love to choose organic and I love to choose raw when I'm picking my walnuts. The reason why is because walnuts are absolutely packed with omega-3s. And just a really quick kind of educational side note, the three omega-3s you may or may not know are ALA, EPA, and DHA. So as we all know, omega-3s are really, really great for our brain health and so on and so forth. So great for so many things. Um, and if you're plant-based, so when you usually think about uh, omega-3s, you think about um, not just walnuts or flaxseed oil, but also um, seafood and crustaceans and you know stuff like that for your omega-3, salmon and all of that. If you are plant-based and you don't wanna have um, 
you know, seafood to get your omega-3s or fish oil, which have EPA and DHA, you can actually supplement with enough ALA, the first of the omega-3s, which comes in, wal you know, walnuts are chock full of, you can get enough ALA in your system and your body will actually convert the ALA into the other two omega-3s, into EPA and DHA. Isn't that amazing? Our bodies are geniuses, right? They're just they're so wise. Love it. So here's our walnuts. And then lastly, our spices, we're going to do cinnamon. I'm pretty heavy handed with this because I like cinnamon personally. By the way, though, if you don't like cinnamon, this recipe tastes just as good without. Here's a little surprise, a little twister for you. I bet you weren't expecting this. We're going to use cardamom as well. Um, if you've never used cardamom before, it's delicious. It's kind of, it's an interesting spice though, because you're like, is this sweet? Is this savory? Is this kind of for a salty dish? What is this for? Is it for dessert? Is it for you know, like a main course, but cardamom in this taste, in this case, really provides some like extra depth to this protein shake. So pretty cool. And then also what I do is I add a, just, just a really quick dash of salt. You probably had, you probably a little fooled by this. Like, what is she holding? Like a raw chicken breast? <laughs> That's what people always say when they come over to my house. No, this is Himalayan pink salt. So I'll add a quick dash, little electrolytes, and also it kind of takes the um, flavor of the protein shake from being just sweet to like a sweet and salty kind of feel. So I love that as well. All right, really cool pro tip. Never throw your powders in first into your blender because sometimes they can get caught at the bottom and then you don't get all the protein powder that you wanted to get. So I'm gonna add the solid stuff in first. I'm gonna do, a third of a cup of walnuts and it's okay if it's like a really overflowing cup <laughs> and I'm gonna do two-thirds of a cup of these yummy frozen wild blueberries ba -da -da -da. there we go so it should look without this bowl so far now I'm going to put in my protein powder. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm hungry? <laughs> okay. That's eh, about a third, three-fourths, maybe a little bit more than that, but not quite the full scoop. And then I got my glutamine. See how easy this is? We're gonna be done with this in like two minutes. Okay, five grams for me. Add more if you feel like you need to, or if you're doing this at night, it's uh, probably, I would probably do 10 grams if I was going to be eating this before bed, which sometimes I do because, um, you know, you'll, you just kind of crave something sweet and salty sometimes before sleep, and this is the perfect antidote for that. Again, like I said, I'm hand, heavy handed with my spices. Cinnamon, same thing. Boom. Quick little zhuzh zhuzh. Put some salt. So you see what that looks like. Very nice. And lastly, I'm doing 16 ounces of water, and I think this will be enough. Yeah, that looks just about right. So that's what we're ending up with. Now, because it takes a, you know, a few seconds to blend and the blender sound is loud, as you know, I like to do a dance while we're blending. I call it the happy blender dance. So if you'd like to join me, I was thinking about this today. I was like, which dance should I do? Have you guys heard of uh, flossing? I think we need to do flossing. <laughs> To the song in my head while we work here. Ready? Okay, so and also you guys I'm sure know how to use a blender, but just a re just a you know little reminder. Start with a lower setting because otherwise like all the ingredients just shoot to the top and you're, ah, everything goes everywhere and it's not as fun to pour then afterwards. So I start with a lower setting and then I gently increase it. Yeah, so excited. Okay. Peach 
tell. I'm just so hungry. <laughs> this is bright purple. Absolutely love it. I'm going to unplug the blender because that's a nice safety thing to always do when you're done. Unplug. You don't want anyone to touch that and accidentally turn it on. All right. See? So pretty. Let's give it the taste test. The official. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect taste. Perfect texture, perfect color, perfect amount of fitness, thickness, and perfect temperature. I love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate you being here today. I loved having you. And I will see you soon. Mwah! Bye.